Patrice mm. O'Neill said, you're a fish. You can't tell me how to catch you. Right. <laughs> See, the bottom line is women be- <laughs> like to believe one thing because that's the media. That's what they've been programmed to because that's what sells products. Show me a competitive MGTOW in the real world. Right. Show me a CEO, vice president. Show me a guy who's going to the CEO club at top in sales. Show me a, a person who's performing at a high level in the real world who claims to be a MGTOW. Here's the thing about this whole MGTOW, and it all kind of blends into this. Okay, turn off the volume. Show me a competitive MGTOW in the real world. Right. Show me a CEO, vice president. Show me a guy who's going to the CEO club at top in sales. Show me a, a person who's performing at a high level in the real world who claims to be a MGTOW. There you go. Not somebody that you want to adopt, like Leonardo DiCaprio. Show me somebody who claims it because the thing about it is competitive men don't have problems with women. Show me a man that's confident, intelligent, assertive, who's also competitive, intriguing, and aggressive, who's already bold, ambitious, and generous. And I'll show you a man who women follow like the Pied Piper, regardless if he wants them or not. See, you can't back away, like Myron was saying, from having women if women aren't choosing you to begin with. As far as younger guys parroting the talking points, this is a this is big in my business, in the business of image and style, uh, because they look at a guy and they say, "Well, he was the he remember he reminds me of the guy who was the captain of the uh, football team in high school," and when you're a freshman in high school, a junior or a senior is hella mega cool, but when you're 18, a 22 year old was still the same senior in high school when you were a freshman, but to a 40 year old man, both of you are boys. Right. There you, you go. You haven't been there. You don't know what it means to be there. You don't have the, you may have the talking points. I don't want to hear the talking points. Show me the scars. Again, right. I'm learning from my failures because I'm taking L's just like I'm taking W's, guys. I know you guys are like, oh, Myron's ladies man in Miami. Guys, I take a lot of L's, man, to, to get. There are more L's than W's, man. That's right. how it is. Way more L's, guys. And the thing is, is that you can't trust a guy that hasn't taken L's. That's why I'm saying you got to be careful of who you take your information from. A lot of these guys don't even haven't even hooked up with 20 girls. Like, yeah. yo, that's nothing. Right. No, nothing, dude. Like a lot of these dudes that are out here creating this content and like trying to tell you guys, oh, make tell this, make tell that. They're virgins, man. They got a lay count of like 20. Honestly, you don't got a lay count of at least 75. I don't want to hear nothing from you, bro. <laughs> Women are going to treat you how they see you. And what I mean by that is yep. like they, they might treat one guy poorly, but they'll treat another guy really well. And, and the thing you guys got to understand is I always say, oh, the, a woman's treatment to you is a direct reflection of her respect for you. Woo. So like it's literally a mirror image. So if she looks, if she's like submissive, polite, asks you before she does anything when she's in your home, she like caters to you, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like she, that means that she sees you as high value. That means she respects you. But another guy that she deals with, Oh, this guy's a simp. I don't really like this guy. You know what I'm saying? She's going to, women are going to act catty and bitchy to men that they don't like and they don't respect because they want that guy out of their life because the thing guys you got to understand that women are non-confrontational so what they'll do is they'll act poorly they'll misbehave they'll do things that normal guys that are high value wouldn't tolerate so they'll be like yo i'm leaving because they don't want to be the ones to pull the trigger they want you to do that but what do most beta guys do oh it's okay i'll accept it you know what i'm saying they do a bunch Stupid. of yeah so it's like yo <laughs> you know they're not they don't take action so the girl acts terrible and to the point that then eventually then what, what happens? She breaks up with him because he can't make the final decision. So you guys got to understand that just because one guy tells you women are awful, they're terrible, whatever it may be, that was his experience because his girl might not saw him high value at that time and their point in their life at that particular moment. But if you dated that girl and you got your stuff together, you got rock iron frame, she's got to respect you, whatever it may be, your, your experience is going to be different. This is why it's so important, guys to get your stuff together as a man because when you get your stuff together as a man the woman has no choice but to respect you guys i've dated strippers i've dated girls that uh, have a bunch of red flags whatever it may be they don't act crazy with me you know what i'm saying i tell I, I, i've kicked many girls out of my out of my condo i don't give i don't give a fuck. like hey yeah you know, like you know you, you you're acting like this all right get out I won't walk them downstairs. Nothing. My security has seen me get like kick a bunch of chicks out so you, so you guys got to understand is that like Girls would, would, would do disrespect men. It is true. But you got to be willing to cut them immediately when they do 
and not tolerate the BS and understand that the guy that is being disrespected by the woman that's complaining, he might have done some uh, some some f ups in his interaction with the woman to the point where she d- started disrespecting him. So every woman acts different with every guy based on how she perceives that guy. Man, that's mm-hmm. how it is. It's not uniform. Yeah, like like there are chicks that like you you would never want to deal with like like girl, like you know only fans chicks or shippers or whatever. I dealt with all these chicks. They don't disrespect me because they know off rip when they deal with me. Like, yo, no, no. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm <laughs> I'm not going to tolerate this BS. I'm not some simp that's, like, going to sit here and pay you $500 for feet picks. That's not how I roll. <laughs> Later, let's you know? go to Kevin. Kevin, women don't treat – they don't treat men equally. They treat different men in different ways. And the way they treat you is almost always directly correlated with how they see you, which, of course, is directly correlated with your value. So what do you say – about content creators who say all women act the same. Don't date women. They will always fuck you over. Well, I mean, that's a good idea. That's a person you should not be following. Um, Again, I think what we're focusing on is a a lot of guys who tend to skew younger. And and I will say this about that. (laughs) A lot of times when they hear us talking about this, they're like, oh, those old guys, they're not up with the new sit. They're not, you know, things have changed. Online dating has done this. I am still actively out there now. But I will tell you this. In my 20s, I call them the twinkling 20s. The closer I got to 30, the more I realized I didn't know it in my 20s because you have to have the experiences. When people speak in broad generalizations, they have to speak that because they have or lack specific stories to tell you about something. You know, I can, you can say most of the time or a lot of women tend to do these kind of things. But when you hear someone making these blanket generalizations, just ask them about some specific times it happened to them and ask them questions three levels deep. Mm. When did that happen? Tell me a little bit more about that time. And then what happened after that? And then what happened after that? And then watch them fall apart like a house of cards. Why does the media, why does, why do movies tell us nice guys don't finish last, they finish first. Be the good guy and women will flock to you. Okay, here's the thing. The world, the world works on archetypes. That's the premise of my business as an archetype, uh, because the brain is used to making things as shortcuts to get through life. The shortcut through life is that, of course, women would like a nice guy because who wouldn't want a guy who's going to treat you nice and do this, that, do that? And that's what Lucario basically said: that women have to tell you what they have been programmed to believe. Patrice mm-hmm. O'Neill said, "You're a fish." You can't tell me how to catch you. Right. (laughs) See, the bottom line is women (laughs) like to believe one thing because that's the media. That's what they've been programmed to because that's what sells products. I mean, that's what sells products. And before I was in image, I was in advertising. Let me let me try to sell you on buying a diamond ring. Okay. Uh, Women are hypergamous and tend to want the top 10, top 20, top 20 percent, top 10 percent, whatever infinite reach of men that they are out there. And the rest of them, they will talk nice to, but they'll use them as beta male providers. Are you going to want to rush to go out and take a woman out on a date and go buy her an engagement ring if you know you don't fit up there? 